Are you a blushing bride-to-be and don't want traditional French nails or even plain cream nails for your big day? Well, stick around because this video may be for you. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. And today I felt a little bit like a blushing bride and I wanted to create a wedding set of nails. Uh, and even though in the beginning I said you're not going to want French nails for your big day, I am putting down two French nails in this design. But by the end of it, you'll hardly be able to see the French. It's only the backdrop of the design which we'll, we will be putting on top of it afterwards. So yes, as I said, I am creating the two French nails. I've created a makeshift nail bed to elongate a beautiful long nail bed. And then I'm butting up the white gel polish up against the pink nail bed with some white gel polish, being careful to create a nice crisp line. But sometimes, you know, your hand slips and you get the white polish where you don't want it. So I'm just going to use a cleanup brush with a little bit of alcohol and I'm going to neaten up the smile line so we have beautiful crisp smile lines for our big day. With two coats of the pink and whites cured and top coated, I can then move on to the other nails. And these ones, I am putting down a base layer of a very soft iridescent pink. This one is from Madame Glam and it's called Sweetest of All and it is a beautiful ice pink but I'm only using it as a backdrop because I will be putting a milky white over it afterwards. And I'm going to cure this first coat and then I'm going to press into the tacky layer these chrome flakes which are iridescent and here's that creamy white that I was talking about before. So I'm pressing in the chrome flakes only around the cuticle area because the latest trend is now to have glitter sort of covered by a milky white gel polish but the pinky I am going to do the entire nail with the chrome just to add a little bit of difference to the entire set. So here we go after I've patted in the chrome flakes I'm adding the creamy or milky white gel polish not all the way up to the cuticle and I'm painting it down the entire nail but then I wipe off my brush and I fade the back part out so you can see the chrome flakes shining through the milky white gel polish. I really need to upgrade my camera. I'm only using my phone at the moment, but the camera's not doing this nail any justice. It it's beautiful in person but it's losing its oomph in the video hopefully with the bright lights off you can see the transition of the chrome flakes into the milky and how beautiful the reflection is so all these nails are top coated with no wipe top coat and now i can move on to doing the detail on the french nails and both french nails will be exactly the same so i'm only going to show one I'm using Madame Glam's You're So Vain and a long striping brush to create like the skeleton of half a French smile line and once I'm happy with how it's looking I'm going to cure that to set it in place and then I can start adding some swirly delicate leaves to the design. I'm going to add three on the white French part of the nail and all I'm doing is placing the brush and then dragging it up and swirling it into a point. And then on the other end, I drag the brush through the dot to create like a leaf. I'm going to repeat it one more time on the free edge. And then I'm going to add a few more up on closer to the cuticle. Now I haven't cured the, the detail work just yet because I do want to sugar into it. Um, but the reason I chose a soft pink is because the bride that I had in mind that would love this set is a bride who is a strong lover of pink. And <laughs> naturally I'm going to choose pink for this design. Plus I also didn't want it to stand out too much. And I felt this pink suited the whole look really nice. So I'm adding the final leaves to the cuticle area and before I do cure it and stick it into the light I'm actually going to sprinkle some clear acrylic right into the wet gel polish and what this does the acrylic is absorbed into the gel polish and once you cure it for a full minute it actually dries raised and matte and that's what it looks like dry. You can see how it's a little bit raised off the nail, only slightly. So now I want to add some a 3D white acrylic flower. And you place a bead on the nail, wait for it to firm up a little, and then use your 3D brush to press into it to create a petal. And just like that, in a couple of seconds, I've created a petal. <laughs> Not in real life, though. In real life, you've got to actually wait for the acrylic to firm up a little before you actually press into it. Otherwise, you're basically wasting your time because the acrylic won't take any shape and you'll just end up pushing it a bit further away. So you do need to be patient and wait for the acrylic to harden up and then you can start making a detailed petal out of it. 
So I'm continuing working the petals and adding more as I want them. You can also use the tip of your brush to lift certain sections of the petal to make it look like it's an actual dimensional petal on your nail and it looks really pretty. I waited for the first row of petals to dry and then I'm adding a second row. This second row is a lot smaller and more centered into the nail. And as before I'm just using the tip of my brush to create the petals and once that's done on both the French nails I can add some bling to them. Now because these, these nails already had a top coat I'm just applying more top coat into the sections where I do want to add the bling and I'm pressing into it all the crystals which I want. I'm trying not to go overboard because I do have a tendency to go overboard with bling. <laughs> so I'm adding it in some selected parts of the design to complement it. And then with the icy pinky nails, I'm also gonna add crystals to them, just a very small amount of them just to help blend the whole design together. They're gonna get a full cure and then this design is ready for reveal. And here is my completed Blushing Bride wedding nails. What do you think of them? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this set. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to let me know. If you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can get notified of any videos I put out in future as well. So that's it for today's tutorial, my lovelies. I hope you enjoyed it. In the meantime, though, if you'd like to watch something else, YouTube recommends this one for you while I recommend this one. Which one will you watch? I'll see you next time. Bye.